Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. This is Breathe and Budget. My name is Taryn. I discuss all things finance related, things that impact our finances, how we use the zero-based budget method, cash envelopes, as well as sinking funds and savings challenges to meet our financial goals. So if any of that is of interest to you and you want to learn a little bit more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join our community here, and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys probably see a little different setup. Normally I have my more um, like pink iridescent holiday setup, which is what I have in my office, but my house is actually kind of like, I would say like bohemian modern and different areas have a different style, which I think is important that each room represent what you want it to represent. So like my bedroom is like French modern, very white, clean. And then the bedroom, no, sorry, the living room is like that more like bohemian modern, very cozy vibe. So this is kind of like the colors and style that we have going for the holiday season. So I thought I'd bring a little bit into this video. So we are going to go ahead and cash stuff for the third check of December. That'll be the December 15th check. We are going to cash stuff a total of $813. All right, so I have my cash breakdown sheet to the side. This is available in my Etsy shop as a digital download. You can just print it. So we are going to start with my essentials binder. I am still very much in love with my binder cover. It is like a cloud and so plushy. It is by Pink X Everything. I do have it linked in pretty much every description of all of my videos. So if you're new to this channel, I get $200 a month of personal spending money and my husband gets 400. He felt that he needed a little bit more. I was trying to put us both at 200, but I get it. And if we look at it from a logical perspective, I get 200 for personal spending, but I also cash stuff for my nails, right? So like I get um, my nails done. And then because I usually have the kids with me, like I usually am the one that will access their envelope. So I felt like, yeah, that's, I think, totally fair, you know, just to include the fact that I do get money for my nails. So granted, I really try not to spend this because right now I'm working to fully fund my, let me pull it over, my one month ahead challenge. And you will see me in a probably short little video just doing an update or maybe just a short or real um, updating my envelopes because I did make new envelopes and I love them. So I have to change those out. But I use my leftover spending money to fund that binder, that savings challenge. But still... I just felt like it was fair. So I need another 50 in mine. So I opted for two 20s and a 10. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna do the nicer 10 because it might wind up in my challenge. So let's see what I have now. Or actually, before I put that in, I totally forgot to do like a check-in uh, for how we are doing. So for my personal spending, I've only put 150. I have 140. So I only spent 10. So this will be kind of a mix of check-in and cash stuffing. Oh, I shouldn't have put that back. So we are going to add this 100 and. So this 50. So now we have 140. No. Oh my goodness. 190. <laughs> I wonder if anyone caught that. 
before I did and you're yelling at the screen. All right, so for my husband, he actually still has money left over and that's because he got a bonus at work and I don't I don't take that for the budget. Uh, if it was significant, like a lot, a lot of money, maybe I would ask for him to put some towards like our sinking funds. But um, in this case, it, I think it was like $400 or something. I could be wrong. And then they take taxes. So I just told him, put it in your account. And I just pretend like it doesn't exist. So given that we did that, he still has a hundred in here and we have already put 200. So he has a hundred left and we are going to add another hundred. So this will give him some good rollover. So one, two, three, four, five. And yes, I kind of pick out the um, not so aesthetically pleasing bills for his just because typically he spends all of his. And I try to clean, keep the, the cleaner bills um, in our envelopes that are like more long term just because I think they sit nicer and they prolong the life of the envelopes. Date night still has a hundred. We have not had a date night so that's going to just stay there and if we don't have one for December that will roll over or we'll pull it and use it for Christmas. I don't know. Dining out. Hold on because I have a little bit more. So I'm using a wallet right now that doesn't have room for cash envelopes. So I've just been using this to hold my cash and this is dining out. But these are available in my shop, FYI. So let's see, what do we have? Okay, so for dining out, we have already put, I think 150 or 100. I'll have to check and I'll pop it up on the screen. So we have 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So 40 left and we are going to add, oh, let me keep that out. I keep doing that. 20, 40, 60, 80, and two tens. So we are going to add 100. So now we should have 140. But I'm gonna count that again because I'm clearly off my game. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that my daughter has been going through some like health stuff and she had an endoscopy and then she had to go to the ER and they did a chest x-ray and it's just been kind of chaos. So um, I'm kind of off my game. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and 35, 136, 37, 38, 39, yes, 140. But she is doing better. The x-ray showed like no damage from the endoscopy. Uh, and they did give her like this medicine she can take that kind of helps to numb that area because she's still very tender when she swallows and she had like that chest pain. So I need to add just a little bit to pets. I'm just gonna put 30, so I did two tens and two fives. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Just breathe, Taryn. Just breathe. So in pets, 10, 20, 30, 45, 46. We had started with 188, then we added this 30. But I will be creating a pets binder and I already started to create the envelopes for it I'm going to create a binder specific to my pets since we are pretty much fully funded other than our six-month emergency but we have our pets home and car long-term sinking fund fully funded to the number we agreed upon I'm going to use that binder for my pets so I'm working on creating that and let me do a quick check-in for kids we started with 100, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 65 left. We went to this like magical boulevard Christmas that's local to us and there were vendors so we spent a little bit. Toiletries, we had started with, ooh, 
gosh, I know we had rollover. I don't know. But we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 40. So we added 100 this month. So that's good. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we're going to have some generous rollover this time, which I'm super happy about. And then pets we just did. Household. 20, 40, 51, 2, 3, and 4. 54. I see this being able to be rolled over, possibly, unless we need toilet paper or that toilet paper. I always grab a couple when they do like take $3 off because we get it from Sam's Club. Sometimes they put like a 2 to $3 coupon. And when they do that, I will buy like a couple bundles just to have a little bit of back stock because uh, we don't need a repeat of 2020 <laughs> and the toilet paper shortage. And I'm sorry if that's not funny to some people, but let me tell you how hard it was to get toilet paper. I finally was able to order something in bulk at Sam's Club, um, like a hundred roll rolls from Scott, like industrial, like that you would get for your company or business. And that's just up high in our closet. And I honestly have never touched it since I bought it, but I'm not going to because that's going to be our like end of day emergency when everyone goes crazy about toilet paper again. So that's just going to stay there. All right, so now let's go into my high priority binder. This is my high priority sinking funds binder. Isn't that so cute? Sorry, I love my stuff. I love how I have it. You know, you have to like it. Uh, if you're drawn to it and it has a really good vibe and good energy, it honestly fosters like you being dedicated to it and wanting to like use it, utilize it, right? Um, so I love doing that. So we are going to go, I think, straight to trash. Trash and water are both going to get $20. Trash is every three months. Water is every two months. So right now, I've decided to just pull from every paycheck 20 bucks. So by the time the bill it generates, we will have the money. Okay, so 20 there. And let me go ahead and add 20 to water. 60. And our water bill is going to be due January 8th. So I will still cash stuff this two more times on the 22nd and then on the 30th. And then if I need more, I'll cash stuff again on the 7th and then just pay it using my checking account cushion on time. Pest control is going to get 100. I want to try to get the subscription, like the annual subscription for this started in January uh, because this last year, man, we had it all. We had vinegar runes, we had scorpions, river got stung by a scorpion, we had snakes and we haven't had snakes in years. We had like two or three of those. Um, we had black widows, water beetles. We had these other beetle thingies are like black and red. I don't even know what they are. So, uh, that's not happening again. So now we have 200 and I want to say it's probably like to start the membership, maybe like 300 bucks. I don't know. I could be wrong. So I will figure that out. But for now I'm getting it stuffed. Home renovations is going to get a hundred. We want new flooring, so now we have 160. Last time we did flooring, it cost about $770, and my husband just did it. Uh, pricing of things, obviously, is very different now. So we still have to price it and figure out how much we need to save, but in the meantime, we're just going to be bulking it up. Housekeeping, I'm going to put 100, 150. I am still on the fence as to whether I will enlist these services or not, but I want to be prepared in case one day I wake up and say, yes, yes, I'm not cleaning anything anymore, and I'm going to bring someone in to help. Um, or I will say, you know what? I'm going to roll up my sleeves, get this done. I'm going to put this money towards our flooring. Who knows? Who knows where I will be in my mind, um, you know, once we fully funded wellness this is for like yoga gym equipment we have a like a at-home gym that we have in like our outdoor shed it's like a 20 by 10 shed that we turned into a gym so this will be to fund my yoga classes as well as I need to get little five pound hand weights and I've been saying that oh we have 
130. I've been saying that for a while, but this should be enough for me to get another five pack for class plus those weights. Then I will just keep bulking it up. Uh, this Saturday will be the, well, you'll, it'll already have passed at this point when you're watching this, the last yoga session for the new year, for, for this year, until the new year. Ay, Dios mio. Okay, I can talk, I swear. All right, so that's it for the high priority binder. Let's get the low priority binder out. Okay, this is my low priority binder. How beautiful. Okay, so let's put 50 bucks into, no, 60 bucks. Let's put 60 bucks into Family Fun. Let's just do three 20s. So I might obsolete this envelope. And the reason why is I'm trying to minimalize a little bit. Family Fun can just be pulled for anything, literally anything. If we want a movie night and... You know, we want to go, let's go to the theater or we want to go bowling or I want to dine out. I'll pull from here. But I also have the seasonal ones, winter, spring, summer, fall. Do you guys sing that song in your head? Winter, spring, summer, fall. Yeah, I sing it all the time. Every time I deal with the seasons. But um, that's how I remember them. <laughs> Is that so funny? At my age, I'm 40. Oh, well. So I stuff for the seasons. And I figured I could use that for like family fun. So instead of like splitting it, putting some here and some there. Oh, wait. Some here or some there. Like, it would just make sense. Just fund the seasons. And then that can go for places that you want to go, things that you want to do, right? All right. So that's going to be Family Fun 60 for vacation. I'm going to throw a $50 bill. I'm going to try not to touch this one because every time I put money in here, I'm very spur of the moment. I'm like, yep, yeah, let's go to San Diego. And now that we have passes through our charter school, because we were able to use our curriculum money, like, well, our funding to purchase memberships, we have one to the Santa Barbara Zoo and the Santa Barbara Natural History Museum. So instead of saying, hey, let's go to San Diego today, I might be saying, hey, let's go to Santa Barbara today. And I always pull from this. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just trying to enjoy life at this point. I really am. It's been very stressful. So for haircuts, we are going to do 20, 30, 3. And yeah, I don't really do ones, you know that, but that's that's what I had to make my budget for this paycheck a zero-based budget. So that's going to go into haircuts. Now, my husband has this carry-all dish, which is like super tiny. Um, and I don't think he watches my videos, but he's going to get like a new one for Christmas that's a little bit bigger and more personalized. But in that carry-all dish, here comes picture, he had this dollar. And I'm telling you, look at it, guys. It was just sitting there like, well, I kind of tried to straighten out, just sitting there for days and every day he takes everything else, but he leaves this dollar. So I took it and now it's mine. And we are gonna go and throw that into this challenge, my easy peasy lemon squeezing, squeezy, sorry. And the reason is because this one has like the smaller denominations and we still have a dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. Pen, dripped by E, and we're going to go ahead and add that dollar. So it's not like the best dollar, but I might, I don't know, I'll probably swap it out with a nicer dollar from like a envelope that I know we will be spending from at some point. But for now, it's going to go in here. And I bet you, well, oh, knowing me or knowing him, he'll probably say, where's my dollar? <laughs> And I don't know, maybe I'll just stay quiet and not say anything, <laughs> but he left it and, you know, finders keepers, right? So that's it. I wanted to just do a quick unboxing. Uh, I'm not going to show the front. This is the package. This is from, let's see, Bling Budget Binders Plus by Cassie. I will link it. You guys know me and diamonds, right? So, um, 
I love all things that sparkle, but when she sent it in this, I've been seeing diamonds everywhere. If I can find the pictures that I've been taking, I'll like pop them up on the screen. But um, that is for sure, Michelle reaching out. And yes, I already ripped it open because I was not going to fight this on camera. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I love all things that sparkle. And I've said this before, but no, pink is not my favorite color. But this is what she had available, and I was like, sold. Let's just, I think she is in Canada, though, by the way, just in case. Oh, look it. Extra little charms, uh, jewels, just in case. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. How cool is that? I love all that bling. So, um, yeah. Oh, look. I didn't order this envelope. This is like a freebie. That's cool. And then some stickers. Thank you so much for supporting my small business. Oh, I love it. So I'm thinking about making this um, my new month ahead binder instead of just the plain pink. I don't know. They don't, I mean, they don't really go together. You know what I'm saying? But I really like this binder and I need a reason to use it, but I was really just trying to support her. She was having a hard time. So, um, trying to keep her shop open, you know, times are hard for us small businesses. So if you are interested in this type of like binder where it has like a lot of that bling, definitely check her out. My binders, these, including the pink one will be back shortly. I want to say Hmm, probably mid-January at this point because it still has to ship. So I'm going to say like mid-January. These are, and I did update the inside, like customize them. So you'll just have to wait and see. So if you're more of like minimalistic, maybe you'll like that. But if this is your thing, because like I love it all, like I love all of it, then definitely check her out. But this is so freaking beautiful. I can't even begin to tell you. I love it. All right. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.